What got you into online spares? Oh yeah, so I bought my missus at the time a VTSS because I like the scent of a 5 litre over the LS1 um, but I wanted to put a VXSS body kit on it because I prefer to get from the VXSS. I uh, looked on Facebook and found this dude that was wrapping a car and went out and met him and uh, bought the stuff for the car and stuff and I was looking at what he does and, that, and then I sort of took what he did and made a real business out of it and uh, got me where I, where I am today and his name's Alton. Shout out Alton. Good cunt. <laughs> Tell me about your first shed. My first shed was my home shed where I grew up when I was a kid. And um, I renovated it, which is the pictures that you guys will see. And that was a lot of fun. I loved that shed. That was my most creative space. Um, that's when I, everything started and actually before even wrecking. Um, and that was just my, where I was. It was my little paradise. And I always did my, I've always done my plumbing, but as soon as I was finished plumbing, I'd get in there and create things. I used to paint cars, fix cars, buy and sell cars, wreck cars, everything. Um, I don't get to do a lot of that anymore, but I'm trying to get back into doing that. Next question. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me about your first factory. Is the mic on? Uh, my first factory is when my brother come into the business with me, which was fun. It's a tilt side joint. Um, there the pictures. We put some pictures up. That was a good time. We had the wrecking and we also did like a motorsport side of the business. Um, I did enjoy it, but we sort of got out of that after a few years and my brother left and started doing real estate because of the crowd that you get when you do that side of the business. I'm not really into that. I prefer parts. But that was a, it was a fun factory, you know. We, we renovated it like eight times in two years, changed up everything about it, you know, moved the hoist around, moved everything around. Um, yeah, no, it was a good time. I like that factory. It was just too, way too small. Didn't Joy go to the green factory though? And then That's when he left. Uh... So he was setting me up. Not like setting me up. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your green factory. Green factory is where the business was at its biggest. Um, didn't really enjoy it because it was intense. Um, you know, we had million dollars in the stock and heaps of employees and stuff and just turning over 20, 30 grand a week just to fucking make ends meet, really. Um, I was in a pissing contest with another guy that used to be in the business as well. And we were both just paying way too much for cars and selling stuff too cheap. Um, it's not a very good business model. You never make good money doing it. Uh, it, it, was, it was a good factory though. It was very well organized. It was like a supermarket of car parts. That guy. Jason has a boost leak. Yeah. Wonder where it might be from. I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> so my current factory was set up completely different to anything I've ever set up before. Because instead of having heaps and heaps of shelving and car parts already removed, um, we have a separate uh, shed or factory, whatever you want to call it for that. Um, our main factory now is just complete cars. Um, you know, because we need to hold so much stock before removing it. If you go weeks without having any stock come in, you've got plenty of stock to put up and so um 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 I say um lots <laughs> louder loud noises what <laughs> the interviews are fun next question <laughs> I started plumbing because I like diversity. If I um, when or what not if I, I have done wrecking just. So like I stopped doing plumbing for about seven years throughout um, stages with all the wrecking because it got so full on. But now I do both again and um, I definitely like it because I spend a few days a week being a plumber outside, mostly in the sun, sometimes in the rain, in the hail and in people's pool. Um, but I do enjoy it. It's, it's good to mix it up. You know, if you do the same thing every day, sometimes you get boring. Whereas if you do different things all the time, it, it makes you respect the other stuff you get to do. And if you're out in the rain, you have to get in the shed, in the shed, and you want to be outside in the sun, you respect it when you get to be out in the sun. Woo! <laughs> um, am I walking at you yet? Yeah. yeah sure. Just slow. Uh, 
Uh, my animals are very, very important to me. My family is very important to me. Beer is very, 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 very important to me. Um, my grass is fucking important to me. A lot of people know they fucking rim his grass. And I accidentally fucked my grass up today, so. Not impressed. This is really so, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are cars. I love cars. Cars are a good time. Make me very happy. Man, <laughs> very happy boy. I like drink a fish. Age of Empires is my jam. If you're an Age of Empires man, you are the man. And if you think Age of Empires is shit, do not buy my stuff. Actually, still buy my stuff, but I'm not a gamer. I wish I was, but I'm not very good at games. I, uh, I just... <laughs> Maybe that's why I like Age of Empires, because it's slow like me. I like Red Alert. Red Alert is badass. That is a badass game. Anybody that likes Red Alert is the shit. What's the most iconic car you've had? So I bought my Porsche um, because when I got my second job, when I was 16, the owner of that business, hashtag barbecues uh, told me if I work hard one day when I'm old, I'll be able to afford a nice car like that. So I bought one when I was 24. I meant to start filming two hours ago, but as business calls, um, I didn't get to start till now and it's really dark. So we're gonna head back inside and do a bit of recording on the couch. We're gonna kick up the feet. Fun fact, <laughs> found my cat in the drain out the back of my factory. One day I was at work at my green factory um, and I had this like meowing out the back and we had like this massive big vine along the back fence. And I, I dug underneath it with my hand, dug under the barbed wire, and this fucking cat, or it's actually this hand, ran up my arm and sat on the back of my neck. And I picked her up, she was so cute. And I um, took her out the front, and I thought, this has got to be someone's cat. So I put her down, and I had some customers there with me. It was like eight or nine o'clock at night. So I went back in the office and um, sat down, and she come in the office, crawled back up, sat on the back of my neck again. And then she just fucking wouldn't leave me alone. So I took her to the, um, local pound and took her there and just let them know that if no one ever picked her up that I'd take her and then two weeks later they rang me up and I picked her up and here's my little lipsy. She's like fuck off me and I'm super cute. Oh shit. <laughs> do you have any tips for anyone starting out? I do have tips for people starting out. Don't. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. Oh man. I made money and I'll shut you down. You're dead. Nothing. I do have tips for anyone starting out. You need to find a direction, you need to stick to it. Me and my brother started the business and we, we were like, we want to go here. But then because all the cool stuff is either side of that, we went like this. And then I had to bring it back over here. And uh, apparently Luke's coming out of his room. So, cheer to the cuss. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm <laughs> recording at um, YouTube. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you see he's got a fuck out of me. How long ago I had to chat? What was that? Oh, about now? Oh, well, you yeah. are fucking talking for now. Oh. Nah, no, we're nearly done. This yeah. is the last question. No, we're nearly done. What a shift comes for money in there. <laughs> How do you make all your money? I'm fucking just shivering cunts. That's how I make it. Mad rumours about me uh, when I shut down my green factory, uh, becoming a drug dealer. That's how I made all my money. That's how I afforded my Porsche because I'm just selling heaps of bulk drugs. <laughs> I wish. Will you ever have anything more to uh, say? I don't know. I just feel like if you're starting out in any business, you need to find a direction you want to aim into and stick at it because that's, a, that's the biggest thing. You know, you need clarity. I, I started my business and I... Originally, wanted to call it Remy's Chop Shop and let everybody talk me out of it. Ended up calling it KLO Garage, and then I didn't like that. And then my dog died, so I called it Ace's Garage, and that was good in his memory, but it still wasn't what I wanted to call the business. Um, and then I, I've now, 10 years later, called it Remy's Chop Shop. So it's like you shouldn't have just fucking done what you wanted to do from the start. Um, everybody talked me out of it because I reckon the name sounded dodgy. Like, everyone knows who you are in your business. It's easier for you to call yourself a chop shop than yeah, coming up calling yourself a chop shop. Yeah. Well, if you started calling yourself a chop shop and you're reckoned VNs and VSs and stuff, you would sound dodgy. Whereas when you reckon brand new cars 
and you call yourself a chop shop, you sound like stodgy. Do you know they're all stolen? No, not really. <laughs> Hashtag don't arrest me. <laughs> what direction do you want to take the business? Song up and up. We're going to go from, from this, we're like this. We're going to keep, keep going up and up and up. You know, we started on VNs and VSs and fucking cars that were like 50 to 100 bucks and you know, I wouldn't even seize on now, but that's what we started, reckon. And um, then we moved all our way up to VEs and VFs. Oh, we bad. And some high-end cars, you know, wrecked Porsches and AMGs and BMWs and M Sports and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I want to keep going up. I'm not, not going to stop. I'm just going to keep keep wrecking until uh, we're wrecking things like Rolls Royces and Ferraris and all that sort of stuff. That was a goal from the start, and that's my goal forever. I want to be that old man sitting in my shed drinking my tea or beer, pat my cat. Ferrari Remy, you are shocking! So wound up! I don't understand why you're so wound up! You need to relax, mate! You've got too much tension going on! You always have to spoil the fun! You need to get a grip, Remy! <laughs> Job. Has been job. She's <laughs> 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 Yeah, what do you want? It's like road cars, she's not. She's me. Wait! Wait! Do the rest for the boys, do the rest for the boys.